Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Hyundai Elantra Sport. Before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For 2019, the Elantra gets a significant new exterior look with a reshaped hood, front end, fenders, rear bumper, and even a new wheel design. Interior changes are less drastic, but they include a revised center console with new controls, vents, storage tray, and updated gauges. These changes come after a complete redesign two years earlier, an indication of just how quickly the compact sedan class evolves. The 2019 Elantra comes in six trim levels, with three engines and three transmissions shared among them. The base SE offers a pretty limited feature set, but moving up to the SEL, the Value Edition, and finally the Limited nets many improvements. The Eco offers a more fuel-efficient engine with mid-level equipment, and the Sport comes with a strong turbocharged engine. Okay, so let's jump into this. Right off the bat, we can compare all six trims. Here's the deal. Last year, I did the 2018 Honda Elantra Sport and the Elantra GT Sport, and I like those. I like the Sport of most any option, any vehicle. This year, I, I do think the value addition, this mid-level for $18,900, we are going to kind of go over the configurations a little bit. I think that the value addition is the trim to get if you're more budget conscious. The value addition adds, you know, it's got a sunroof, it's got heated seats, it's got dual zone auto climate control. The reason why I like the Sport and the Limited is I like the Sport because it gets the turbocharged engine, but I like the Sport and Limited because they get leather interior now you're moving up into leather interior, and now we're talking, right? The value addition, you can't add any additional packages on that. Let me scroll down so we can kind of see everything that uh, they all come with. Because you see this, the SE starts at 15006 It comes with that base lackluster engine that has a 2-liter engine. It gets really great fuel economy, though, uh, I think. It's got Bluetooth hands-free phone. It's got cruise control. It's got a rear-view camera. And at that price point, I think that's a lot. You jump up to the SEL for about two grand more, and now you get a lot. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You get Blind Spot. You got a lot of tech. You got the Blind Spot. You got uh, rear cross traffic and four collision warning. I mean, if you've watched any of my channel, you've watched any of my videos, you know that as far as tech's concerned, I'm all about the Blind Spot. The rear cross traffic and the four collision. I think th that those three are the primary ones to get for sure. And then when you throw in the value addition on top of that, now you get all of that plus a sunroof and the heated seats and push button start and all of that. And you can kind of see once you get to the Eco, once you get to the Eco, the Eco's got a different version of a turbocharged engine. It's got a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. The Sport is the only one out of the whole group that gets this 201 horsepower engine, right? No, its fuel economy isn't as good, but I don't really care about that. So it's got all the features of the SEL, plus it's got the 18-inch wheels, it's got a better multi-link independent rear suspension, and it's got sport leather seats. So it's going to have Apple CarPlay and all those things, and I'm almost positive there's an options package to add to it. And then, of course, we can see that the Limited comes with everything. It's got wireless charging, Infinity Premium Audio, leather seats, heated in the front, all that. We'll see what other options we can add to the Sport to make it a little bit more like the Limited, but with the, with the horsepower of the Sport. That's kind of the goal. All right, let's move on. Okay, next they're going to show us a exterior tour where we can spin the car around. We can check the exterior colors. Can we check the exterior colors? Well, let's first do a little spin around here so we can kind of see what the car looks like. So we can get a full 360 view of the 2019 Honda Hyundai Elantra. All right, well, that looks good. Let's go back and look at the colors. Okay, so here is white. Then we have silver. These are the exterior colors for the 2019 Hyundai Elantra. Gray. We have blue. They keep it simple. They don't even try to make these names all fun or anything. They're like, look, red, black. All right, they're, they're keeping it simple. So red, black, blue, gray, silver, white. These are the colors. All right, up here they're even showing us some of the 
um, configurations. Here's what the SCL looks like. Look at its hubcaps, its wheels. Here's the SCL. Let's do it in red so we can kind of see them better. Here's the value addition. Here's the eco. Here's the sport, which we're building out today. And then, of course, the limited. I think the sport's the best of the bunch. What do we got here? Lighting up the sleek new look. Yeah, those the headlights are gorgeous. Full LED headlights are not only energy efficient, they shine further and more accurately. But because the LED's tone is much closer to that of natural light, night driving is less of a strain for Elantra drivers. Then they've got this whole... They show this trunk open on the other photo here. The trunk opens automatically when it senses the proximity key nearby for more than three seconds. You never have to lift a finger. So... All the manufacturers are kind of going to the, you either kick your foot under the rear of the bumper to, to open the trunk, that kind of stuff. So hands-free trunk operation is the name of the game going forward, and the Hyundai Elantra has that. Okay, next, let's look at this interior tour. Just like we did that exterior tour, we were able to look around. Now we can have a good look around on the Hyundai Elantra. I'm not going to move too fast. Okay, so uh, sunroof is not standard, we know. So this might be an SE. There's your 7-inch touchscreen. There's your push-button start. So we know this is not an SE. It's not a ba or sorry, an S. It's not a base model. Um, the seats, the leatherette seats, or if they're leatherette, these are probably leather, actually. It looks pretty good, actually. I'm moving nice and slow. Hopefully, I'm not moving too slow for you. Hopefully, we've looked at everything you want to see. All right? We can see everything. Everything looks good. Looks good. All right, now let's go back and finish this interior tour. Okay, so it says modern technology, contemporary space, and then based on the trim level, based on the configuration, so the SE is the base model. The base model you can get with beige cloth or gray cloth. The SEL configuration you can get with the same deal, beige cloth, gray cloth. Value addition, and this is where I kind of got put off from the value addition. I like the value addition. I think it gives you a lot, but here's the deal. I can't get leather. At least give me leatherette. At least give me leatherette, right? I just did the um, a 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan, and the Volkswagen leatherette is gorgeous. I know that car it might not be what you're looking at if you're looking at a Hyundai Elantra, but if you want to see what good leatherette, non-leather, but leather-looking seats look like, check out that build. I'm going to put a link up. Okay, next is the Eco, same deal, beige cloth, gray cloth. It's not till you get to the Sport and Limited that you actually have some kind of character, some kind of flavor. Now look, woo, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Let's do the Launch 360 spin, see if they show us this, if show us our trim in this. Hang on. Okay, awesome, they did. I just didn't think that. All right, so here is the 2019 Hyundai Elantra Sport interior and it's nice. It's real nice. Look at flat bottom steering wheel. Super chunky steering wheel. Leather wrapped. We've got nice leather wrapped sports seats with contrasting red stitching. Black leather. Contrasting red stitching. This car gets a sunroof. There's our sunroof. We can see that. It looks good. Push button start. Look at the pedals. The pedals, the dead pedal, that's what they call that. The rust pedal, that looks really good. The pedals are nice. The chrome, uh, it looks really, really good. Reminds me of Audi pedals on their cars that they do. Look, you've got right here, you got a little digital information display in the middle of your analog gauges here. Uh, it's nice. All right, let's move on. And then real quick, might as well show you, we went through all the other trim levels. Here's what the Limited looks like, but it does have leather. It's not doesn't get sport, but it does have beige leather or black or sorry gray leather so the sport the sport which we're building and pricing is the most unique hyundai elantra it has the unique engine it's the only one with black leather interior flat bottom steering wheel i mean this is the one this is the one i like this car i wouldn't mind owning this car actually Moving along, it says your mobile apps on the big screen. Elantra's available 7-inch display. Audio gets even better with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, letting you safely access your uh, favorite apps and entertainment via touchscreen. There's also a rearview monitor with parking guidance, which helps you back into your parking spot. If you're backing into a parking spot, it's assuming. 
Uh, and then here is that wireless charging pad, full battery, no wires. Every ride is a chance to stay charged up. Simply place your QI-compatible mobile phone on the available charging pad and, well, get down the road. Okay, next up on this overview page is they're going to talk about the Hyundai Smart Sense. And it says their vehicle surrounds you and your passengers with a comprehensive bundle of available advanced safety. Available, right? It's not standard equipment. It's an option. Honda Smart Sense. Uh, available advanced safety and convenience features from cameras to ultrasonic sensors to radars. They have sophisticated network of sensors that act as extra set of eyes when you drive and when you park. Uh, and they call it the Hyundai Smart Sense. So let's check that out, see what all these uh, this comprehensive bundle is. Okay, it looks to be quite a bit. Looks to be for collision avoidance assist, driver attention warning, lane keep assist, safe exit assist, smart cruise control, high beam assist, and, well, we can toggle this. So let's just start with this for collision avoidance. So it says the moment it detects a slow or stop vehicle in your path, it warns you of a potential collision, and if you don't stop, then the system can automatically apply the brakes. So And it's available on some trims. Driver attention warning. This monitors your driving patterns to detect drowsy or inattentive driving. And if it senses that, then it's going to uh, sound a cue coupled with a warning message uh, on the instrument panel. You know, Mercedes did this way back with this whole coffee cup thing. It was called, I can't remember what they called it, but they've been doing it forever. Everybody else is kind of getting onto the game now. But let's just be clear that Mercedes started this forever ago. Lane keep assist. So this system warns you through audio and visual cues if your vehicle drifts out of its driving lane without signaling. Signaling. If you gently apply correct, and it will gently apply corrective steering assistance to keep you inside the lane. So what's cool is at this price point, these Hyundai Elantras have active safety systems active they'll 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 control they'll intervene if they need to that's cool especially at this price point safe exit assist when its radar detects a vehicle approaching from behind this pioneering invite innovation warns passengers in advance to keep them from stepping out onto the road when it's dangerous i think that's really awesome actually i think that's a really awesome feature and it's high time i mean it's 2019 it's about time people are starting to do this now the tech i guess has always been there hasn't it? or it's been there for a while anyway okay smart uh, smart cruise control while traveling at a speed set by you it uses radars to maintain a safe distance from the car ahead but it doesn't say that it can slow down and and do all of that so it, it doesn't go into that we're not going to assume that it can or can't it just doesn't say high beam assist Constantly turning your high beams off and on can be a hassle, which is why this thoughtful feature automatically does it for you. It can detect oncoming vehicles and also when they're no longer there, toggling between high and low beams accordingly. And then lastly, one of my favorites, blind spot collision warning. Your Hyundai notifies you with a visual alert when its radars detect a vehicle in your blind spot area. If you try to change lanes in this situation, an audio warning will sound. All right, so... In this situation, it won't pull you back in your lane. All it's going to do is let you give you an audible warning. Hopefully, that should be enough. Moving along, there was this other tab right here I just saw that said, Why Elantra? Yeah, why? Why should we put our hard-earned money, money down and buy the 2019 Hyundai Elantra? Looks really beautiful in this picture, doesn't it? The LED lighting, it's a nice-looking car. Give me a set of custom wheels, and yeah, we'll be doing it. Is that Portland? No, maybe? I can't tell. Where the vehicle is located with those uh, with the bridges. Nah, that's not Portland. Oh, that looks like Chicago, that building right back there. All right, let's move on. Style that's all new, innovation that's all now. Pride and sophistication. Uh, come when you feel that everything is worth your while. That's what Elantra has been all about. Attention to detail in design, performance, and fuel economy. Higher expectations for safety and convenience. Thoughtful, uh, smart technology touches. That bring a smile of satisfaction, bold new look. Wow, they're saying a lot. It is a very attractive subcompact car, though. They're saying it, but they're backing it up. Here they want to let you know they were the 2018 top safety pick for the IIHS when equipped with optional automatic emergency braking and high beam assist. Exterior design, which is very attractive. Elantra's bold and dynamic redesign features a stylish new hood and front fenders, grille and fascia, and LED headlights. 
for the perfect finishing touch. Rear styling with a new trunk, taillights, and fascia keep Elantra holding your interest both coming and going. So 17-inch alloy wheels hold your ground and athletic good looks as well as performance. These wheels must be standard. Premium 17-inch alloy wheels are the detail that helps give Elantra its bold and confident new stance. I'm pretty sure those are not the standard ones. Uh, here's the dynamic integrated LED daytime running lights, which I'm pretty sure our sport comes with as standard. The perfect finishing touch, new daytime running lights not only light up Elantra's uh, redesigned face, their angular shape integrates beautifully with sleek new uh, front exterior and gets you noticed on the road ahead. It's real nice. Interior innovation. Let's see. The new Elantra gives a feeling of open space that's relaxing and accommodating. Updated instrument panel, smart center stack design. And it says they have a lot of advanced tech to keep you in touch, entertained anywhere you go. 8-inch multimedia uh, navigation system and rear-view camera with parking guidelines. It says available 8-inch multimedia navigation system keeps you focused on driving, because there's a 7-inch too, uh, focused on driving with quick access to navigation and entertainment. Its standard rear-view camera also features parking guidelines to help you back up and park with added awareness and uh, added awareness for safety. Safety is important. Here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and right off the jump, they're letting you know, hey, Toyota Corolla, which apparently must be their competitor. You can't get that optional Android Auto, not available on Toyota Corolla. They're letting you know. Then over here, you've got that available Infinity Premium Audio with Clarify Music Restoration Technology. That's the bump and sound system. Can we get it on our sport? I don't know. I know it's a standard on the limited, on the top level. I don't know if we can get it on the sport. It's got eight speakers uh, and center channel and a subwoofer, all that there. You know it probably cracks and sounds really good in this very, very tiny interior space of this Elantra. Here's that wireless charging pad deal. No need for wor uh, wires. No wasted time searching for wires and plug it in. Simply place your compatible phone on the pad, and when you get there, you're all good. It'll be charged up, well, as much as it can be, depending on how long your trip is. Look, there's a heated seat, uh, heated uh, front seats button right there. Nice. Here's your USB, your aux, your 12-volt. Here's that hands-free trunk release deal. We already know about that, right? It's got that proximity key fob deal that if you're standing around for three seconds, it already knows you're waiting for the trunk. And this is the only vehicle in this class to offer an optional hands-free smart trunk. Let's see, complimentary blue link for three years. Control the launcher from your favorite devices or simply your voice. Voice activated search is just the beginning. Access remote lock, engine start, and climate control, in-car maintenance, scheduling, and more. It's easy with blue link connected car service in the car, on smartphone, smartwatch, Amazon Echo, and Google Home. Now we're going to talk about America's best warranty. Confidence backs the best warranty out there. Says you have certain expectations when looking for a new car, and one of the most important is that it will last, which is why we back every Hyundai with America's best warranty. It's our way of showing you how much confidence we have in the quality of their vehicles. Blah 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 blah. Ten year, hundred thousand mile powertrain, five year, sixty thousand mile new vehicle limited warranty, five year unlimited mile, twenty four hour roadside assistance. Right? This is the best uh, America's best warranty. An additional five years and forty thousand miles more coverage of powertrain limited warranty than Toyota and Honda, okay, more than them. Let's cruise through these gallery uh, gallery images real fast. There's 16 of them. I'm probably not going to read the sentences, these little paragraphs that they'll throw, these little sentences that are descriptions, really, uh, at the bottom corner of each image. If you want to make sure you catch that, just pause the video. That means I'll wait for you, and then we'll move on, all right? So let's catch these photos real fast so we get some nice shots of the Elantra. Oh, that was the limited. We can see that. It said limited on the back right there. That looks good. It's a really nice looking car. I like the car. It's a good looking car. There's one with the optional sunroof. What color might I want mine in, I wonder? What color do I want my 2019 Hyundai Elantra Sport in? Okay, let's move on. Let's check a few specs of the 2019 Hyundai Elantra Sport. Now, it's kind of like a hot mess right here. But this second to the last column uh, is for the Sport. And we can see that it comes with a couple of different transmissions. If you get it with the manual transmission, the starting MSRP for the car is $22,600. If you get the dual-clutch transmission, which is the sporty transmission, which is what we're going to get, 
then the starting MSRP is $23,700. So we're going to get our Hyundai Elantra with the dual clutch uh, transmission. We can see that there is one package to be had with the Sport. It's called the Premium Package, and it gives you it gives us that 8-inch touchscreen. It does give us that Infinity Audio. It gives us the Blue Link Connected Car System. We just saw that. That's that um, that whole connect the car, start your car, check all that. It's got the dual automatic temperature control and auto dimming rearview mirror with Home Link. Home Link, I think, allows you to open like your garage door and all that. So for another, so basically, you're looking at about twenty five thousand ish dollars for this car, and but it's a lot of car for twenty five thousand dollars. Let's move on. We're not going to go through all the specs. I just like to check a few things, and I'm really about the engine. So here we can see the Sport makes 201 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. That's awesome. Makes 195 horse. Or I'm sorry, it makes 195 pound-feet of torque at from 1,500 RPMs all the way up to 4,500 RPMs. What that? What basically what that means is this car is going to feel really spirited. It's going to feel real peppy and alive because it's making all its torque basically right off of idle, and it's making it. And, and basically, you you exist between that 1,500 and 4,500 RPMs. I mean, that's where the engine mostly lives most of its life while you're driving around, even if you're not paying attention. So you're going to have full uh, torque available to you all throughout the most usable part of your uh, RPM range. And so that's really cool. Oh, it's worth noting that the Sport is the only one that comes with these 18-inch wheels, too. 18-inch wheels are standard. On the Sport, they're not available on any of the other models, right? There's a lot of uniqueness about the Sport, and I like it a lot. Okay, so here we are. We're getting ready to do the build. We've got the 2019 Elantra Sport. Starts at, they've got us at $23,520 um, up here in the top, up top left corner. They're going to give us some highlights here. 33 miles to the gallon. That's combined. It's 201 horsepower, 18-inch wheels. Got that multi-link independent rear suspension, leather seats, LED taillights, LED headlights, LED daytime running lights. Comes with that black leather. We know how that looks. That's pretty hot. What color interior, I'm sorry, exterior do we want? Man, this sure would be hardcore to go black on black, wouldn't it? Be a little black on black, and then later on maybe get some custom wheels. How about that? Let's go black. Let's go black on black for our Hyundai Elantra. Let's move on. Next is our transmission selection. Do we want the six-speed manual or the DCT, the dual clutch? I want the dual clutch, the seven-speed dual clutch manual trans automatic uh, dual clutch transmission. I want it. I want to be like an M3 or a Porsche Panamera or any of that there. All right, we already read about this premium package, so yeah, we're going to add the premium package. We already read about it, so we're not going to look at it again. And then down, down here, they have what looks to be some just simple accessories. And so they don't look like they like show us a whole bunch of um, images. But let's see. If I click that, do they show us an image of a door sill? No, they don't. Um, we want to get the illuminated door sills. Okay, We're going to get the illuminated door sills. We will get the all-weather floor mats. I also want the carpeted floor mats. I want the wheel locks. I would like the mud guards and the rear bumper applique. That prevents your bumper when you're taking stuff out of your bump out of your trunk. You know how you get scuffs right there on your bumper? It gives you that little piece of like kind of a clearish plastic so you don't get any scuff marks right there. For most people, I'd say you need to get that. For me, I'm so mindful that I won't scuff my bumper. So I think we're good on our little accessories. It's worth noting that these accessories can be gotten at the parts counter at the Hyundai dealer at any time. It's it's worth noting, okay? Let's see if there's anything else to build in price. If not, we'll move on to the summary. Okay, right off the bat, here's we're at the summary. Before I get into it, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to print off this build summary. So if you like the way I built and priced out this 2019 Elantra Sport with the premium package, then you can download it uh, in the description below, okay? So, Started off at what? The car started off at $23,700. They got us at $27,000 right here. We, we basically threw everything at this bad boy. Estimated net price. We don't really mess with the prices too much. We got all these accessories, which we could drop these accessories if we want to save a couple bucks. But that premium package was definitely worth getting. We had to get the premium package to get all that other stuff, to get the good stereo and all that. And we could have gotten the limited and gotten all that stuff, but then we wouldn't have gotten the Sport or the good engine. And it's worth the few extra grand to get that awesome engine 
that makes great torque all over the place in the sweet spot, and then to have it be the best Elantra. The Elantra is like one of the top compact cars. I think it's worth the money. All right, so if you've made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, have a 